Hello everyone and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. In the last episode, Pete got very stressed out but did an amazing job. Uh, I'm very happy with both our occultists at this stage. And since we have one back, I'm just looking at the roster, the activity log, apologies, um, to see what I did in the last episode because I don't tend to watch my own videos. I recall that we went out, uh, is this the previous episode where we beat the hag? We have recently defeated at least two bosses, and there are two bosses left to beat. There's one in the ruins, a necromancer apprentice, which I've done before. Uh, I think the ruins was one of the f first um, areas available in the early alpha version, in the early access version. And then there's a cove, which is the siren, which I believe has a habit of basically incapacitating your enemy. Your I think it. Uh, brings units to their side and uses them against you, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to have to do it at some point, so in that situation what we really need, <coughs> excuse me, what we really need is uh, units that can defend against each other, but that can also do a decent amount of damage. But we have 11,000 credits. Credits? What have I been playing? Uh, gold. We're looking maybe to upgrade some people who are capable of going on these two missions, which are both level 1 missions, which means level 2 people can go. Jekry has... Uh, really probably should get rid of that, but a disease resist... If we go to the the ruins, disease is not such a great problem, and uh, Dutch still has rabies, and Dutch is going to continue to have rabies until there is free income to make it worthwhile getting rid of it because it's it's kind of a balanced thing I think. You lose accuracy but you gain damage. Which means you miss a lot, but you hit a lot harder. Although as um as a range thingy, like a lot of these have already that one's got a debuff of accuracy. There's our clear stun. Ha, told you there was one. Right, so we probably want to unlock that actually. Cause that would make Dutch here a sort of a, a, a backup unit, uh, like this has got, um, one of these has got, yeah, there's marked here and mark here, so it's sort of a support character that can heal sometimes, but also this is a, a, a really good, um, a really good recovery thing that we can use on somebody, so I think maybe we just take out a fairly standard party of basically these four people. Holmes is still good at the front, that's good. No diseases. So all these four are basically ready to go, except Jekry, who is kind of likely to get another disease on the way. But don't forget, there's also a chance that you can remove two diseases at once, which happened to us already, and I'm very happy with that. Um, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm happy with taking these four, because if we upgrade Ash's... Can we upgrade Ash? Let's find that out. Uh, this is where I want to be for that. I don't really care to upgrade that. We do want to upgrade this. Are we using this? Not really. Yeah, Ash is basically as upgraded as Ash is going to get. Uh, let's well, let's check everyone else. We'll take Jekry, Holmesy, Ash, and Dutch on a mission to beat the Necromancer Apprentice, which I'm happy with. I'm actually very pleased with Retribution, although we're not using Command. Maybe we should change it for something else. This is pretty good, uh, as far as I've seen other people use it. And we have used guard from someone else, I believe. I think uh, the hound masters have a guard. I think we've used it there. Or we could use this, which is just sort of a a group debuff. I think we'll try this, and we'll get a level two in it straight away. Even though that costs us a bit of money, not too much. We've still got ten grand left. Uh, sorry, stop. No. Ah. I'm fucking this up. There we go. Let's put Dutch in. Dutch is well. Did you want to get rid of this? I think we should unlock this. Clear mark target, plus 10% debuff, resist, and torch. So it'll clear a stun and a mark. And uh, don't forget, Holmesy still has the um, the one that makes her... Yeah, it marks herself and activates repost. So between Holmesy and Dutch, we can remove a mark from one person and put it on Holmesy, and then repost, which is actually, I think, a very good idea. Jet Creator is fully upgraded, Ash is fully upgraded. I think they're ready to go. Let's just check the actual armor and weapons. We'll spend all our money on these four, because these four have turned out to be really good for us. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and they're all level two, but Jet is about to ding. So I want to get the most out of these people 
basically I want to get the most out of a level 2 squad to try and do one of the more difficult missions, which is going to be probably the ruins. What do we win here? Occultist. We've got some of those now. Uh, stun skill, debuff skill, and crit. So that's not going to be much use to our current occultist, so we're using as a, a healing backup type character. If we, for example, have a look at Bagel here. Um, we don't really have... Wait, what did that give us? Stun and debuff. Whereas Bagel, you know, that's nothing, that's... That's a debuff. That's a debuff. In fact, we were using the minus 15 dodge quite a lot. I'm wondering whether we should take Bagel instead of Ash. Nah, Ash needs the levels. We should get some more level 3 people, because we've only got 3 of them. We need at least 4 for the, uh... You know, for, for a higher level... To have a higher level party. And plus, we're going to want to have a high level party, even when some of our level 3s are in for stress relief. So everyone out. Holmes is going in front. Jekry is following up. Ash and Dutch are at the back. Jekry is actually preferable in the third position. Ah, uh, this may be a problem. I hadn't considered positioning. Because Ash is definitely a third position and uh, Dutch is definitely a rear position. <laughs> but Jekry doesn't really work in the second position. So sorry Jekry, but we can't bring you enough. Also not getting any more diseases. In that case... We might as well put Jekry in to get rid of that disease. That's not where you do that. You do it in a sanitarium. There you go in here. It's going to cost 750. That's actually... I was expecting more than 1,000, so I'm happy with that. In which case, maybe we take one of the Houndmasters out, or maybe we take Doug, or... We can't take Viz, because... We can't take me... Because I'm level 3 and I won't go. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Just like me. Vague. Vague's good in the second position. It's got a marked thingy, which works with that marked thingy. We've got a stun. Stunned. We can stun and then stunned, but we have to go sort of last then first, which doesn't quite work. Well, someone else has a stun, so if we get it in the right order, we can use this. And a bleed. Literally just a bleed. But it does hit a unit at the back, which is very useful. How are we against units at the back? You're pretty good at units at the back, and you're no good. So we have, if we take Vague, we will have two unit at the back attacks. We could take Tim. Does okay in the second position. We can't Iron Swan. Are you okay in the second? Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Let's, ah, oh, no, because I don't want to. <laughs> I am keep double guessing myself. I want you to take a level 2 party, but our level 2 party doesn't work. Unless we take two tanks. I'm, I'm multiply double thinking myself now. Right, you get out. You're too low level. But we will do a, a run where we level everybody up, so don't worry about that. Wow. That's a lot of stress, Pete. Mr. Steve's are probably going for stress relief as well. Alright, we'll do this. Sort of a backup tank in case we get shuffled. It gives us a better chance of having someone good at the front. But we will definitely be doing this ruins thing. It is a medium mission, which means we will probably camp just before the boss like we did the last time. I think all boss missions are at least a medium. We'll take a couple of shovels, because I hate them. We'll take a couple of keys, because we may find stuff. We'll take some torches. Hmm. I kind of want to make sure that we have torch light for the boss. So we will make sure that's there. We've got some of that. We're not necessarily going to need too much of that. And then we'll just take... I'm never sure whether to take two stacks of food and a medicinal herbs in case... You know, there's a chance that we... Oh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> in the case there's a chance that we just get food anyway. I might take one, and then if we do get food, we can use it to just eat straight away and heal it. I think this is a good loadout, although it doesn't leave us very much inventory space, but... You know, let's just... Uh... Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? Hmm. Bit scary. A devil walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. So I suppose we're supposed to learn from that that our caretaker was a necromancer in his early days, as well as a herbalist, apparently. He seems to have worked with everybody, and now everybody's gone insane. 
I guess that is actually literally what happened. Everyone's gone insane because of the story. Right, there's a battle over here. There's no battle here, although there is a trap. But that's okay. We will just walk. Oh. Homesy, seriously. Been here before. A map. Okay. Look. I'll let you off this time. That's interesting. I've never seen a map that just gives you all information about certain... Just curios, basically. That's told about every single curio, including which one the boss is in, which is where I thought the boss was anyway. But it's good to be sure. Well, everyone's 70%, so we just spread out the... Shush! Indeed! We'll spread out the chances of that. We didn't take any fucking trinkets, you dumbass. All right, well, <laughs> we're fucked. There's a torch. That's fine. Wealth beyond Dude. measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Brave and the foolhardy alike. I seem to have been both of these on this. Exactly. Excuse me, I thought there was. I'm pretty sure you said there was no battle here. Oh, we're here. Okay, good. Uh, how do we start this? With some. Did I not change your stuff? No. I kind of cannoned into this and forgot a lot of stuff. That is on me. Uh, and nevertheless, we will try things. I will knock back you. Now I think about it, maybe we should have equipped our Crusader with the thing that moves the Crusader forwards as well. Uh, since we've not been hit yet, we might as well start doing some damage to... Oh, has anyone got a lot of dodge? I hate dodge. Yeah, you got a lot of fucking dodge. There's two of these bastards as well. So we definitely want to consider getting rid of those ASAP. Stunning blow. A bulwark of faith. You can actually do all these things from the second position as well, so I don't really know what I was worried about. That's good. <clears throat> it's not our first piece of damage, but that actually did a lot of damage as well, which is interesting. And we will try and sniper shot this one to death. Confidence good. As long as we get rid of that, that's actually a really good, um, really good start, because not having that in the game is going to be super useful, and it didn't even get a turn. Neither did those two. So the only thing we've had so far is basically a double helping of stress here. But that hurt as well, which is not ideal. Can we stun this? No. Of course we can't. It's the only one I want to stun. I guess we just reduce its dodge as well and hope that Dutch can repeat the process. Right. Uh, Psycho. Hit this really hard. Another one Good job. Falls. Can you not leave corpses though? That's kind of upsetting. Continually Excellent. Unspoiled. We're doing well here. I think it's because I brought a well-leveled party to a level one. We wanted to do well, but I kind of, well, I didn't do what you should do to do well, which is to actually prepare. Never mind. We'll heal everybody for a little bit, just to keep us going. Keep on top of it. We're quite likely to, how are you? 25% prop, that's why, yeah, just shoot. Crit, that's good, that gets rid of at least some of the stress, please. Okay, okay. There's some food there, so maybe if you eat a bit of that food, and you eat a bit of that food. And we will definitely try and pick up some more heirlooms. We definitely want to unlock Littering the next level of guilds so that our level 3 models. units can get the level 3 Paid for in blood. Um, skills. And Homesy is inevitably going to open this. I think uh, the reason Homesy works better in this position is that this moves you forward. Oh, you can use it from the front, actually. So I guess it actually doesn't matter which order. We've done this before, where the two pairs are interchangeable. See, now I'm doing it on purpose. Whatever. <laughs> God, fuck it. Shut up! Good job. 70%. This is going to go wrong at some point. And we will torch before we go in here. Don't forget, we can camp. So, uh, Ash's stress will have some opportunity to remove a lot of this stress at that point. Although, not this much fucking stress. There's a lot of stress producing things on this exact run. Like, this is a lot, and they've gone first. In that case, we try and stun one of them for the next turn, and then we shoot the shit out of the other one, right? Can you, uh... Yeah, good. I found that. I like it when you miss. In that case, we should try and knock this one back, which will bring this one in range. Not necessarily that valuable, actually, now I think about it. Uh, in which case... Are you unholy? No, you're just human. You don't have the human thing, do you? No. Just hit it. Stop! Overanalyzing this. Do damage to the bad guys. It's easy. At this stage, I know I've got a lot of other things to do. I just want these things to be dead. <laughs> just make it go away. Oh, that's good. that's good. I'm done with that. <clears throat> Especially if you're going to dodge it. 
I'm even further down with that. I think that's how that phrase works. What we got? Three to six. Could kill it. Can't hit that. Try it. Again, we're dodging beams of light. We're dodging too, so uh, I guess I can't be too salty, but I'm going to be salty anyway, so deal with it. Definitely just get rid of that. This is one of those situations where rather than trying to min-max all our best, you know, rather than trying to find some huge meta to deal with this shit, I'm just going to hit the shit out of everything. I know I'm saying that a lot. I just think I maybe try and stun this again. We've got three. Let's try and deal with the damage here. Six to twelve damage, so we can kill this. Yeah. Another abomination. Rather than trying to figure out the best sequence of all the things that will buff each other, etc., these things are causing a shitload of stress. So, in fact, what I'm going to do is hit everything until it's dead. And then, as a result, maybe. We come out of it without completely flipping out ASAP. Like, to be honest. A lot of the trinkets that I would have given this party would not have helped against the things that we've actually encountered. Vis-a-vis uh, -vis ashes I would have given the the healing buffs, for example. I'm not, uh, I'm not knowing about traps right now. Would have given ash healing buffs. I'm going to use this here. Yeah. That was worthwhile. Waiting to be spent. Hunger is fine. It starts reducing our stacks a little bit, giving us more inventory space. You know, I would have given Dutch maybe a bit more accuracy, but it's not been a problem yet. I want to stun something. Probably you. Yes. We're doing badly on stress and fine on HP, so naturally I brought HP units and not stress units. It's never the same twice, though, is it? You can't say, oh, the ruins, that's a high stress area. Because it's not, it's just bad luck. Now, there's our first real damage, because that's going to that's gonna be a sort of an insidious killer, as, as Wayne likes to say. Right, now we can probably think about actually, you know, using some tactics. So, why do I have to attack one of you? Do you just do damage? You do do damage. Okay, cool. <coughs> It doesn't do anything to that, but it activates Repost on us, which is great. Repost, by the way, which lasts two rounds, you can then stack it with Defend. And then you will defend something, and then Repost. It's really, really good. Do we even have that? I should, I should be changing these. Remind me at the end of this combat. Give me the ones I want. Uh, we will also start using a Mark. You. You go and get it. And eight. What? 22 dodge. Oh, that's good. You don't really have much of value. So just hit something. Unholy. That's you. Good. Maybe I shouldn't have... Uh... Oh, that probably just brought it into death range, actually. So that's fine. You're going to flip out very quickly if we don't do something about this. Not that we can do anything about this, except for can. I have no quarrel with you, sir. Look, it's Arbalist versus Arbalist at this stage. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I should start healing Psycho here. But also, I feel like I should start stunning... Like, maintaining this stun. To stop that happening, because I don't like it when that happens. So you can't have another go. But now I don't have to worry about it until the next next turn. Although it did go first, if you remember. Ow. <laughs> Not a fan of that. That's what happens when they crit us, I suppose. Of course, you're supposed to attack. Never mind. Uh, well, let's see if you just don't do that again. Now everything's stunned and Dutch can focus on that. I'm happy with that. You are going to do smite. Bring this into death range on the next turn. Then Dutch is going to shoot. Well, I was going to not shoot this, but now I maybe should. Suppressing fire does what? Less accuracy and less crit. Or Bowler is just going to knock that back. So I think we just try and get rid of this unit before it gets its go on the next turn. Because these two aren't going to... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Crit for 11. Ash is going to go completely in concentration. loopy. I couldn't even think of a, a super... super uh, couldn't think of a hyperle, hyperbole. Man, look. I've only had one cup of tea today. So, just, just bear with me whilst I try and remember how to speak the language that I was born with. 
We could kill that. I think we should. Outed. <laughs> happy with that. Of course, you're the only one who gets the stress relief from it. Not, not too happy with that, but okay. At least we're probably going to get through this on this round. So if you just don't miss, that'd be perfect. Sweet. We could have dragged that out with a stun. Oh, we did get a key. These nightmarish I'd like creatures to, can I'd like be the key. They can be hmm. beaten. I actually want both of these. Does this help me? You're bleeding. You use that. Okay, that helps with that. Crest is the thing we have a shitload of, right? So we'll keep the key. 250 gold. I think we just get rid of those, because those are a dime a dozen. Cool. Two curios in a row. I'm happy we found the key, because I'm half anticipating that at some point there's going to be another one of those locked chests, especially after the boss. Or at least a chest where we will benefit. <coughs> Pardon moi. Get on with it, Holmesy. Nice one. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. It must be carried home, Wayne. Well, we've got four people to carry it. I feel like uh, maybe it would be room battle with Curio, or don't know. Well, there's nothing in this room. We know that because there's never a battle. Ah, no. There can be battles without Curios. Well, we should avoid. Try to avoid the battle if possible. Uh, why don't you have a look, since you're obsessed with having a look at everything anyway? Oh. Early riser. Early to rise and early to bed. Makes a man healthy, wealthy and dead. That was good timing. Very good timing. So these things are surprised and also quite soft, but Ash... As long as they don't crit us, Ash should be okay. Right? Ash has got five stress before Ash goes completely... Ash, Ash, Ash. Uh, these things can hurt, but I don't know where they can hit. And these things just shoot you a lot, so... I uh, just both of them. Let's try it. Fair enough. You should just heal you. You do you, Ash. Except, obviously, that was two different yous because of contextual grammar. Let's try and spread out some damage early on. See if we can get more things within one-shot range in future. I don't know if these things actually attack mark targets, so I'm going to try it anyway. That was actually a 2-3 to three damage, and yet I did one, so... What the fuck ever, I guess. And you didn't remind me, chat. Yeah, that was good. Blanket fire basically hits everybody, so that's good. You didn't remind me, chat, to change Holmesy's uh, loadout, did you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you repost even if you dodge it. I really like that. We're going to have to move Psycho now. <laughs> oh, God, help. Uh, I want a Psycho to go first. I guess this is the only option we have right now because of that move. Which, how did you not resist that? Son of a bitch. What's this? One damage and you have seven HP left. I mean, I don't want to waste this turn. Can you move forward in any respect? I don't know. Sure. How are you getting goes? And how are you not beating the shit out of them with these reposts? Psycho's about to die. That's okay. No, it's not okay. This is turning out to be an extremely difficult fight, considering what I said when we started, which was this should be okay. Uh, we don't have Battlefield Bandage, so we just have to kill something. Should be this, because that one can still activate repost. That's that's pretty good. Only you will you please Ash. You're as bad in real life. Okay, so now you're the only one left to have a go. Ooh, that's close. <laughs> Not a fan of that. You can't even Oh, you can only mark yourself. That might give us enough protection to not die horribly on the next go. Please let Ash go first. The very of Can't believe we did so badly here. Quickening satchel. At least promises success. We can take that. You are going to eat an entire fucking stack of food. Eat as much as you can. <laughs> You're full now. Okay. You whiner. Plus two speed, plus twenty percent move resist. That's pretty good. Grave robbers tend to be pref in very preferred positions as well. 
get rid of that. And we'll take this. No one's blighted. Oh god, this is terrible. Because <laughs> Ash was in exactly the wrong position for that one turn when we needed the heal. Okay, good. So we camp. Circle in the dark. Everybody. The battle may yet be won. Circle in the park. Right, you need to be de bled. Remove bleeding, remove blight. Heal 15%. I'll do that on you. That's the only healing I'm going to do, even though Dutch is bleeding for two more damage, because you took a lot of damage and you didn't take so much. Um, but then I'm expecting to be able to get some heals in on the next fight, which is going to be the boss fight, so anything could go wrong here. So I'll encourage you, just to keep you in range of not going completely loopy as a result of the boss, which I'm expecting to happen. Has anybody got... Self only, you fucking. What sort of leader are you when you do stuff to yourself only? All companions reduce stress. Yeah, do that. That'll keep Ash from taking so much stress damage as well as reducing Ash's stress as well. And then all we need is. Mm, nobody has a no combat. Oh, we did have one. If religious. I guess you can uh, unlock Sanctuary on other units that aren't religious. But I would like to do that, but we can't. <clears throat> so we're just going to have to take the risk of having a nighttime ambush. Plus 5 dodge, plus 3 speed. If I put that on Ash, Ash has a good chance of going first on each round. And a good chance of dodging damage on each round. So I think that's probably worthwhile. We really need Ash to not die, because they're the only healer that we have. Right, stop talking. Stop talking. Ah, it's probably just spiders, right? It's just spiders. Oh, this is bad. This is not great. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. Ash goes first, yes, good. Unfortunately, Ash is in the wrong place again. Right, so we will. I didn't get the opportunity to change, I forgot. Well, I did get the opportunity, but I was going to... Look, try and remember. That's all that matters. Stop making so many mistakes. I know it's the first episode of the day. I mean, I think Repost might be a good thing to use. Yeah, we should start off with this and see how well we do. Three damage is fine. And we also have a high amount of crit chance. That's fine. That two is fine. <laughs> in, in every respect. Right. I'm actually going to move you backwards. This is difficult because we need our units to be in the right place on the next turn. If people keep hitting <laughs> Homesy, I'm also happy with that. But right, this place, in fact, this is exactly where we should be. So now we can start doing things properly. That wasn't actually very good, Ashley. Now I'm wishing I'd actually brought the trinkets that earlier in the same run, I was saying, ah, oh, we don't need those trinkets, that'll be fine. You need a healer, do you? Where are we going to find one of those? Cross the shit out of this. It's the only one that's got to go. That was a high crit. But again, Ashley is not taking any solace in the fact that we're doing really well. High damage versus unholy, which this is. So all you need to do is shoot it. Well done, everybody. You actually didn't take quite so much damage on that fight. There's only two marked, rounds. Unfortunately, so will Ash is going to die. So... Got all you can eat? Right. If we get hunger on the next fucking walk... Oh yeah. Right, thank you for reminding me. We're not using this. We want to use this. I think that will work on the next one as well. What else have we got here? That's not useful. We're not using this though. I'm going to turn that on because... I can only use it from that position. And you can only target that... Wait, what? Don't know. Is that our targets, maybe? Because, again, this doesn't tell us what friendly you can target, but maybe that is telling me. Uh, let's double-check these. We don't want that. We're not really using that, though. We could be using it. We'll see how much dodge the Necromancer has. And you... Is the Necromancer likely to stun? We're not using this. We might as well turn it on. You can use it from here, so that's fine. Right. 
No hunger, please. Because I'm going to be very sad if we stress everybody out because we didn't save four food because we used some healing instead. Oh, that's already been looted. That's okay. There is a fight. I don't want to fight. Why are we surprised? This is not going to plan at all. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Well, <laughs> I guess we just try and... Um, this moves us forward, which is actually very valuable. Have no quarrel with you. We made that joke. Stop making that joke. No. It's not how it works. Yes, Holmesy, you are knocking it out of the park with these dodges right now. I'm extremely happy with that. Plus 13 debuff resist. That's everybody as well. <gasps> what an extremely valuable... <laughs> you fucking... That's outrageously good. Alright, we'll just um, move around a bunch. You're in a decent position, so you can heal you. And in this case, it is the same you, not a different you. That's English for you. And then we'll step back here. Well, no, we've got a debuff resist, but not a... Unfortunately, not a, uh, a dodge buff. But that's okay. Right, now we can start doing stuff. I think we should continue applying the damage to the same unit whilst buffing ourselves, if possible. Yes. Dodge it. You did. And you hit it. <laughs> That's exactly what we want to see. So that was a good move, if I say so myself. Which I do, and did. Right, now we can start stacking up some proper heals and get ourselves nice and ready for... I think a uh, party heal would be good here. That wasn't a party heal, but nice try. Um, I, I think I just failed to click because I was getting too excited. Now we will... We might as well stun one of these that hasn't had a turn yet. Bump in the night is just a thump. This is like to use clumsy axe blade. Oh, it didn't step back, but it did get a stun, so that's fine. It means it doesn't get a go, which is extremely important. Sniper shot can finish this unit off, actually, which I think is valuable. It's definitely worth not having that thing shooting us anymore. It's better than a stun. And if I was prepared to stun it, then I should be prepared to just kill it. Uh, battle here is not very valuable, but these are probably unholy, so it's going to do 7 to 14. We're just going to kill it in one shot. It's extremely valuable. And then, Ash, if you could actually... Please, yes. Wands! I should have brought Pete. <laughs> Pete has uh, definitely improved himself in my estimation. Let's see if we can stun this so that we have another turn to try and redo that heal. And that was exactly the right thing to do because it would have had its go otherwise. And you can't actually hit anything, so we should maybe just battle heal here too. You can probably kill it. You can kill it, but I don't think you will. Oh, you did. Not <laughs> didn't want you to, but okay. And there's some stuff for us. So we should have enough uh, and room into the mud. for right torch. We should have room for the loot that we get at the end. So I'm hoping, and we'll see how this goes. I'm pretty sure this does a lot of summoning. Right, Ash, heal yourself for goodness' sake. I really should have put these trinkets on, man. Six feet under. Stress? Yes. Despite our stress resist, which is still on, you haven't got it. Where is your buff? Why didn't you... Oh, you did the buff. That's a problem. That's not too much of a problem. It could turn out to have been a problem. But you weren't even in the right place. You can't do illumination from there, which I think I'm okay with. What's your dodge? No. Although, it's going to spawn things that may have dodge. <clears throat> so maybe I should have reordered. I'm not too concerned. And we're going to put a mark on you. And use Dutch to do all the damage that I can. The debuff happened as well, which is very helpful. Uh, maybe we can knock this back and get that into a shooty position. I mean, it, it, the difference between second and first position in this particular fight doesn't really matter, but it'd be nice to sort of keep pushing the units back and keeping this thing at the front, I think. Unholy, right? Unholy and Eldritch, which is very helpful. Had I known that, we might have brought things that had a buff to both. Hmm. 
What's your stun resist? High. I will take this opportunity to move Ash, because Ash doesn't have anything valuable to do, but he could have very valuable things. They could have very, very valuable things to do I, on a future turn in that position. I don't like this either. Deal with it. Kind of want to use something other than that. You've already had a go, so maybe what we want to do here is try and debuff everything or buff ourselves. I kind of like repost actually. I've never said it before. It'll do a small amount of damage to eight units. So we might as well pick on one. And Dutch is still available to do all the damage to the uh, to the actual necromancer. <gasps> That's a big crit. That's like a third of its health, nearly. Three of those, and we're done, right? I'm down with this. You've got a stun resist, so you're gonna die. Thank you. We don't have anything that clears corpses, I think. I don't think the uh, bolas does it. Bolas? Is it a plural or is it a singular name? Who knows? One to three. Three, please. One. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. I'm not a fan of it. Right, you're on repost mode, so you will rampart. I mean, I don't think. Holmesy is going to do much in the... You resist both. Not ideal. Holmesy is not going to be a damage-making target. Uh, you know. Ash is going to go completely crazy, despite all the buffs we gave him. Good. Right. Paranoid. Rut row. Okay, well... That's a problem, because that's our healer, but we'll just keep doing damage to this. Nah, we're not doing three of those, I'm afraid. How long does this last around? So we're going to have to spend around marking it. Which is unfortunate, but it's the name of the game. A crit helps. A righteous blow, actually, Wayne. I think uh, Psycho knows his mind. Let's try and keep Ash alive. Well, Paranoid didn't do anything in that round, so I suppose we'll take our... Yes! Small mercies. Ash has not taken a single piece of stress relief from any of the damage that we've done in the entire fucking game. What's your damage? Two, one to two. You could actually kill that and debuff everything else, which I'm going to do. Of course you didn't, but whatever. Debuffed it though. And you've got a dodge. Ow. I think that's just stress. Yeah. It's okay. So this is a stressy, uh, stressy boss, apparently. Oh, you haven't got repost anyone on um, anymore, so... Blood? No. no blood, that's fine. What do we want to do here? Try and beat the shit out of one of them? Or definitely kill one trank well, Unless it misses. I think we do this. It's a kill plus. But the, I was trying to avoid having a corpse there, because it's a pain in the ass. Oh, you did a thing for me. The light Does that mean I don't get a ghost? Yes. You kind of needed to be healing at that point, that's your job. I'll, uh, I'll let you off because you're having a bad time. Do a little bit of damage and get repost back on. It means things start targeting you. Ooh, big crit though. Ash, we really need you to let me have a go. If you don't mind. Oh shit, that's off. We will spend the round doing that because it's so much more valuable. To have... Uh oh, we're okay. To have this sniper shot do plus 60% damage. And the plus 6 crit, which has helped twice so far. Or at least the crit itself has. I don't know whether the plus 6 to it has. So we'll just keep eradicating this one and doing damage to the next one. And hope that Ash actually lets to heal Ash. Ash is actually the only one who has taken a considerable amount of damage. But I really should have put those trinkets on earlier. Ugh. What a mistake to make. Can we stack this? Maybe. Yes. What is your dodge zero? But it's very slow speed, so you're going last. Which is also valuable. And I'm glad we brought a Crusader in the end, because it turns out all of these are unholy, and this particular Crusader has a bonus to unholy. So you're just going to keep shooting that. Oh, <laughs> okay. So our um, bonus to crit there worked extremely well three times. Plus, uh, Dutch has rabies, which is not actually turned out badly yet. What have we won? A survival guide. Okay. Less speed, though. A bounty hunter plus two speed. Just straight up plus two speed, which I am down with. Is there anything in this room? No. I'm upset about that, because this says Curia. Where is it? 
There is no curio here. Excuse me? Can I have my curio? I was promised a curio. Whatever. Let's go. That was very close. It was my mistake to have forgotten the trinkets at the start. But my complacency was completely misguided because I should have been complacent about the ones that looked difficult and not been complacent about the ones that didn't. I thought we could uh, double click to open all those, but apparently not. Night blindness is not a problem. Ash is also going to start randomly attacking things, but did level up. Uh, that's okay. And that's bad. So, of all the things that's wrong with Dutch, In that's time, the one we're going to fix. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. We've cured wasting sickness, which is great. And Pete has only recovered 56 stress, which is... Oh, it's good enough to go out in another mission, I think. But what are these things? Tetanus. That's bad. Okay, so we're spending more money on you straight away. He's going to be out for a while simply because of this. Well, can we upgrade this to make it cheaper? Yes. Should we? Yes. I won't spend that yet because Pete's only got one disease, but when we put someone on with two, like, um, I think Jekry had two, actually. Oh, Jekry could have had two, I remember. So these aren't... I'm not too concerned about upgrading this. Maybe that one by another 10%. Not at the moment, though. No. I would like to maybe... So Ash needs to go in for some treatment, and a lot of it. Ash, is there anything you benefit from? No. So we will just... Oh, <laughs> my voice, my voice. <clears throat> Don't need two slots, but I would like it to be cheaper. In that case, you're going to get pissed. Which seems to be what you do. Well, why are these so expensive? I thought these were like 800. I'd like to increase the stress recovery, but we don't have enough portraits. We could actually sell some crests. How much does that cost? I want portraits. Oh, no. I want... So, three crests. Six crests for one portrait. You are fucking joking me. What do we need? Three? That gives eight. Mm. I mean, we could. Yeah, let's do it. Then we could do this. Because Ash is completely stressed out. I'm hoping this will bring Ash down to zero, or at least... Dude, I'm talking. Or at least, um, very close to zero, so we can take him out again. And these are an annoying level of stress. And Psycho, you might as well go in for something as well. Oh, it's 850 for you. Maybe it's a reflection of how much stress there is to recover. That's, a, that's the value I was expecting, so maybe Ash just gets... Like, hit harder to chill out more. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, I think we're going to try and level up some of our lower level characters, except for Pete, obviously, who is having his horrible, horrible diseases removed. Uh, and hope that nobody dies, but I would like to actually upgrade the stagecoach because I have another couple of people who would like to be antiquarian. What is this? I've never seen such a thing. That was going to do it for this episode, but I'm extremely confused by this. Some sort of... It's like a plague doctor, except... Yeah, it's someone else who plays with substances, except in this case, it's more like a... Just general purpose explodey things. Nervous stab. Just does a lot of damage. Don't know. I will have no idea how to use this character, but also, Force Guard by Ally. <laughs> okay. Well, we can't fit them in, because I, we need to increase the size of our barracks, and we need a lot of Ds for that, but we're nearly there. So what I think we'll do, I don't care about the number of available heroes, because they've not really been giving us what we want anyway. We should probably look at those as well. We basically need way more of these, and I think we're going to start with Deeds. So we'll take a low-level crew to maybe try and find some deeds. In a medium run. So that could be a long one. So brace yourselves. Or this one. So this one does give us five. Okay. So brace yourselves for another medium-length long recording. Uh, but until then... Good day, I suppose. <laughs>